Look at a close-up of the Easy Knotter. First, put the PE line in the O-ring of the bobbin at the end of the Easy Knotter. Wind the PE line six times around the black part. Then, wind it up the same way on the opposite bobbin. Put enough tension on the line when winding it on both ends to create a bow shape. Wind the PE line around the black part six times and secure it in the O-ring. There should be a very strong tension on the PE line, giving the impression of a bow line. Next, we'll set the shock leader to the center bobbin. Extend the line about one foot to the left side under the PE line. Wind the shock leader six times and secure it in the O-ring. Then, start to half hitch the line. Sequentially, reverse the hitch over and under the PE line. This will start to pull the shock leader. Loosen the tension on the PE line only at the beginning. Here is a zoomed up view of this part. At the beginning of knotting, the knot hump should be to the right side. The knot hump shifts to the left side when you pull the shock leader down in this way. The knot should always progress to the right. Beginning in this way, proceed toward the bobbin. Begin to knot. Thread the shock leader from above and pull it tight. Next, thread it through the near side from above and pull it tight. This is the second knot. Continue in this manner with the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth knots. Finally, tie the tenth knot. Stop threading on the near side. To finish, thread the opposite side from the underside and through this loop. Pull the shock leader and loosen a few winds on the bowstring. This will securely lock the line.
Remove the shock leader off of the central bobbin. Remove the end of the PE line. Remove slowly and maintain the tension by hand. Wind the shock leader six times on the same bobbin. Secure it in the O-ring. Turn the easy knotter clockwise. Secure the end of the shock leader in the top O-ring. This is the main line of the PE line. The left side of the shock leader should be to the left. The main line of the shock leader is on the near side. The PE line, which extends from the side, is the end of the PE line. Not these two lines with the PE line. This is a half hitch. Take the line from above and pass it through this loop and pull. Next, take the line from below and thread it through this loop. This is the second knot. Proceed sequential knots first from above then from below. Always follow the sequence from above to below to above. Half hitch the line ten times. Remove the end of the shock leader secured in the O-ring. Leave about one millimeter and cut it. Next, knot the end of the PE line with sequential half hitches to the main PE line. From above to below. It is easy to half hitch because the line becomes straight. The strength of the half hitch increases. Wind ten times. Lastly, thread the end through the loop twice and end the knot. Pull the line to the right side. Cut the end of the PE line. Now, the FG knot is completely finished. Look at this. The PE line is connected to the shock leader.